I have to admit, I love all food, but I would say a Sunday roast piled up high. I'm a big fan of uh, overeating on meals, so I literally would would have everything on there, Yorkshire pudding, chicken, stuff in the lot. Um, so yeah, Sunday roast. Christmas, my record of pigs in blankets is 17 in one sitting, so I'm quite pleased with that. I'm proud of that. Never again. I don't think I ate for about two weeks. <laughs> Well, it varies because sometimes they're naughty. Um, probably say my love wedge. I love playing flop shots and bunk shots, um, working some stuff out. When the drive is going well, I love it. But we have a love-hate relationship sometimes. Um, I'd go the Dame, Laura Davis, um, Tiger and Meg. There'd be lots of intelligent chat, mainly coming from Meg. All the banter from Laura, all the good goal from Tiger, and I'd just be rolled in as the fourth. Oh, that is a great question. I would have to say probably Royal Porth call. Slightly biased, obviously, because it's a Welsh course, but um, the layout's amazing. It's one of the best linkses, and it probably helps as well. I, I've got good memories of playing there. I finished second in an LET event there as an amateur, which sort of kick-started my career. Um, and Shaney Wall hold a putt from, it's getting longer every time I talk about it, about 150 foot across the 18th green and I got caught on camera, I think, calling her a rude name. <laughs> um, but no, I, that's my favorite. Dead easy one, that. Uh, Dame Laura Davis, um, who now has become a friend, which sometimes I still think is a bit weird. Um, but I got to play my first solemn cut with her, first match, first day. And um, that's without doubt my best memory in golf. Favourite film, The Green Mile, um, brilliant story, I probably watched it 15, 20 times, I still cry when I watch it, um, I, like, I have quite a, a strong sense of injustice, it's like one of the things that really gets me in life, so obviously watching that, um, someone in prison for something that they didn't do in that situation, probably one of the nicest humans that would ever have lived, um, it gets me every time. I've been through a phase at the moment of watching all the documentaries on Netflix, so I've been watching the Michael Schumacher one this week, which was amazing. And Stacey Bregman actually got me to watch um, the Mardi Fish documentary, which I have to say might have not been the best idea because um, two nights, I, I watched it over two nights and both nights I was absolutely in floods of tears because there were so many things he said that really resonated with me and, and made me think of my own situation. So. Um, that was like an emotional roller coaster. So yeah, all, all the documentaries on Netflix and Succession on SkyGo as well. I go by a few, but um, Brew is the most common one. A few people call me Brewy. Um, I go by much worse sometimes. Lydia Hall, you can ask her. She picks on me and calls me lots of horrible names. So uh, she's not a very good friend. People probably don't know that I'm a bit of a nerd, so I'm quite into sort of learning about weird stuff. So I, I do like things with website design and, and sort of numbers and try and work things out. So I am into some geeky stuff sometimes, which people wouldn't probably think. I, I try and make people believe that I'm something different to what I am sometimes. <laughs>